Hello, I'm really excited to share with you the Arduino library that I created. You can use this library to be able to control TP-Link smart plug devices include the TP-Link smart switch devices. Before you can use this library in your ESP32 microcontroller, TP-Link smart devices have to be configured and added by using CASA app on iOS or Android. This library is designed to communicate with TP-Link CASA smart devices in local network mode only. That means your ESP32 has to be connected on the same network as your TP-Link smart devices. I tested this library with my TP-Link Smart Plug Model HS103 US and TP-Link Smart Switch Model HS200 US. But I think any TP-Link model name start with HS should be working. In this video, I will use the Visual Studio code with Arduino plugin and C++ plugin. If you are not familiar using Arduino with Visual Studio code, I recommend you to watch YouTube video how to program Arduino with ES code. Let's start a create Arduino project using Visual Studio Code. First we will need to create a folder for our project. I will name the folder Casa Plug Blink. I will open the Visual Studio Code. Under Menu File, click Open Folder and choose the folder Casa Plug Blink that we just created. Next step, we will need to create .ino file, with the name is same as folder name casa plug blink .ino. In case you want to compile using Arduino IDE then you won't have any issue. Then we have to choose the board type in this case I will choose ESP32 development board. You will need to install Arduino JSON library by click Arduino Library Manager under Command Palette. Search for JSON library and install Arduino JSON by Benoit Blanchin as I show you. Next you will need to download the CASA Smart Plug library from my GitHub. The link my GitHub is listed in this video description below. I will use git bash to clone it from my repository. Please copy these three files casa smart plug .cpp, .hpp, and .h into the casa plug blink folder. Oh I think, I forgot to set the COM port for my ESP32 download. I think we are ready to start writing some code. We will need to use Wi-Fi for this project, and please include CASA smart plug.h as well. We will need variables for Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. Let create the CASA util object which we need for scanning the CASA devices on our local network. And I will create pointers to the CASA smart plug objects. Later I will demonstrate how to use it. Before we go too far, let try to compile the code. Oh I have made some mistake here, let me fix it. I will add the code to initialize serial port for ESP32 to print out message for us to see through serial monitor. Next we can add the code to connect to Wi-Fi and wait until the ESP32 is successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network. As you can see why I like using the Visual Studio code with Arduino and C++ plugin, it has auto completion and color code, very convenient. After ESP32 successfully connect to Wi-Fi, we will use CASA utility to scan CASA smart plug devices on our network. 
the scan device method will return number of devices found. Otherwise it will return zero if no CASA device is found. Next block of code, it will print out the report of CASA smart plug devices founds. The report message will show device's alias name, IP address, relay state and model name. Let compile the code. I had made another mistake. Let me find out and fix it. OK, it's time to download the code to ESP32 and run it. Oh no! Another mistake I have made. I forgot to use my Wi Fi SSID and Wi Fi password. See? That's why I never pass any job interview by high tech companies. Now I hope it will run without any issue this time. Yes, it is working as you can see. The program find five devices on my network and it is matching what it is listed on my cell phone CASA app. In the next part, we will try to control these two plugs, the left shrooms and the right shrooms. I will test the left and right shrooms plug to see if they are working by using my phone. Let me show you the constructor on the CASA smart plug object. We will need the name of the plug, and most important is the IP address of the plug. When CASA Util scan devices method found the TP Link smart plug, the CASA Util will create the plug object and add to the collection. We can obtain the CASA smart plug by calling method CASA Util just smart plug and use the device alias name as it's shown on the cell phone CASA app. The advantage of using alias name is that if your Wi Fi router assigned different IP address to the plugs, then your ESP32 program won't work anymore. If you create the plug object by using a static IP address, by using the alias name of the plug, we can just reboot the ESP32 or call scan device method to update the IP address of the plug. But the drawback of using CASA Util scan device method can take up to two seconds to finish scan devices. Let go back to the code and I will try to get two CASA smart plug objects by calling CASA Util get smart plug. I will pass the alias name left shrooms for plug zero. And we will use the same method to get the plug number one by passing alias name right shrooms. Sometime, unexpected thing happen and the scan devices method could not find the plug that we need. In this case when we call get smart plug method, if the alias name is not found in the collection, the method will return a null pointers. So I recommend to check the plug object if it is null before try to use it. I will show you the code I'm using here. If both plugs are not null, I will print out the message. Let me add the comment to the code. Next, I will add code to turn on the left plug and turn off the right plug. OK, we are ready to compile and download the software to ESP32. It seems our code is working. Let me try to reset it and rerun again. Yes, it is working. Now we can work on the code to blink the plugs. I will show you how to alternate turn on and off the left and right plugs. First, I will create the function to toggle the plug. If the plug pointer is not null then we will need to call query info function to update the plug relay state. Then we will toggle the plug relay using the code that I show you. I will try to limit plugs to blink for 10 cycles, as I don't want the plugs to switch on off forever. Let me add loop count here. Now we can add the code to blink the plug.
let compile and download to the ESP32. Yes, it is working. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching the video.